Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Insanity Gaming Channel with your host, Espinormal Demolisher. And what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this has been my first recording since last week. Last week, I recorded at least six videos all in a day. And I was so freaking tired. To know that, like, hey, you know, I record the whole day, six videos is so tiring. But it was just a short while and then uploading, you know, like, schedule them or whatsoever. So, welcome to this game, Velator Immortal Invasion. This is one game that I actually pre-registered it upon. And then I get some goodies with the code. So, they made me, like, like two days ago, I didn't manage to record because I was a little bit busy um, with my uh, with my daily routine personal shit, man. So, okay, I got a XP gain right here. That's great. So, first of all, this game looks beautiful. Really, really nice. I love it. I love how the characters is portrayed by itself. I, it has its own like finesse to it i guess all right we're gonna press start right here as you can see i only did the first mission and let's do the second one all right i'll show you guys how it feels like with this game right here the friend is a kill is a hero right here there you go okay Uh, ha ha! All right, let's go on, boys. Let's first start right here. So, this game has a unique aspect to it. No, it's similar like games like uh, King's Raid, I guess. Uh, it's really similar to King's Raid, All right? But however. However, King Street is more like a, it's more like a side scroller where you can't really see for more than that perspective. Well, this game is an actual um, 3D dungeon based um, RPG that those kinds, right? And it's pretty nice that they actually zoom up that when it comes to like this character turn or that character's turn or whatsoever. You can actually do the older skills if you like, or if you actually want to do like, you know, manually you do it, then that's fine. You can do that as well. So as you can see, if you want to be in more action, they're focusing on over here. And the graphics on this game, gameplay is super, it's pretty smooth. I don't have to worry about anything else. That's the one thing I really like. Right, you can. There's one thing I like also. Like after you finish the, um, the dungeon or whatsoever, right? Um, right, uh, After we finish the dungeon or whatever, right? You have the chance to sell the item or just keep it. You know, up to you. Which one you prefer, I guess. So that's the cool thing about this game. Uh, I think you can have a friend. Yeah, it's a friend slot. So maximum you can have for four people right there. Normally, what they recommend is a tank, two support, and then one like like a ADC. So therefore, you will have a easier time to progress in the game. Because if not, your team's gonna get wiped out. Because somebody's gonna take the damage, somebody's gonna heal, somebody's gonna so and so, and so all those things. Nice one. If you wanna, you um, if you see those arrows up, if you actually f move your finger to the character's um picture right there, and then you just like slide it up, and then you notice you actually unlock yeah, super set smooth. So this how pretty interesting it got. And the bottom of your character, you know their health, just in case you're not paying attention to the screen. Right, and you know the cooldown weights all this time, so it's pretty pretty nice to be honest. Alright, nice one. 
I'm not sure whether this game is pay to win. But I'm gonna sell this, right? Just to show you guys. Right, let's go in here. Let's just finish off with some of the tutorials that I purposely put on hold. There's one thing good about this game as well. Like say that you don't wanna play with this tutorial yet, you know, whatsoever, or you wanna skip certain things, they allow you to do so. So it's pretty nice to have that option. Even though it's not as much, but still it's pretty great. Alright. Have that option. Alright, equip that shit. Alright. And the story in this game is pretty nice. You guys should see the the cutscenes is pretty pretty good. It's very beautiful, very smooth, and it's actually very interesting. The the, um, the voice actors is pretty good in my opinion. They're pretty good. They're not like Japanese good, but they're pretty goddamn good. And it really amazed that like hey you know it's just uh, a mobile game and people. Um, like make it to a point like it's like a console game almost, right? So it's pretty interesting. Alright, let's go here for a start right here. Alright, nice. It's pretty damn nice. Alright, so here I guess it's continuing on. So this, ooh, did we hit a boss? I think we hit a boss, guys. Right, but it's okay. We're gonna kick the crap out of the boss, you know. We're gonna win it. I try not to make these videos too long. Um, because I don't want to bore you guys with all the things. I'm sure you guys, um, will be more than enough to do everything. So, all right, you can just camera view. Okay. Right. Take the camera. Take the view again. Okay. Another again. Okay, you can choose how you want your camera to be like. It's pretty interesting. I think this one fits me very well, because to know that, like who they're focusing on, and uh, when they're doing their super set move, you know that's pretty important for me. Because it's like sometimes you get like all those new characters, or even your favorite characters, or even those super rare characters that you just like. Oh my god, you know I need to see that thing you know some of those things and then next thing you know you just can't see because the camera's not there so this is one thing good about this game so far there's a lot of positive in this game i have yet to find a negative i have to play a little bit more find some more negativity but look at over here guys the freaking boss right here is pretty heavy right here guys it's pretty nice i don't have a healer healer per se but we are beating him oh man He's dead. Oh my god. There you go. So like I say, if you want to play this game a lot smoother, of course, it's best to for you to control. But if you're like me, and sometimes you just like the game to play by itself, um, then of course, um, you know, these kind of games are meant for you and you will appreciate all these kind of games especially when you're like traveling about and um you're kind of sleepy and you just want you know the game to be chill for you if you're too tired okay so we're doing another tutorial right here to enhance some heroes right that's great all right that's one so let's go with the Ooh, see, shall we? So this is very similar, like Seven Nights, you know, for you to compl uh, com either complete stuff or you know, like level up stuff um, to the point of max character. You get some of this. I think it's similar to it. Next, as, as you can see, there's uh, treasure shops right there. Dungeon Winners League. I think that's PVP. Summoning heroes, Temple of Destiny. There's so many things, guys. They have. They need to put. So, so many things, and they are pretty, like, just a few days from launch, man. It's pretty amazing, you know. Okay, so I'm just going to go with this one right here. 
And then let's see if on this one let's just no, no ticket. Oh yeah, I only got four, so I can. All right, all right. Let's see what I get. This is regular guys, so you don't have to worry. Mostly, I'm gonna use any of these for enhance. I don't have any one for the the big boy stuff, you know. But it's okay. Ooh, I done a quest. I got this on oh, nice. Right, so the so the game is pretty. It's it's pretty direct, I guess. Pretty pretty direct. What's this evolution pig? So yeah, I guess this is what the shop it's right here. So <clears throat> maybe this is one for the um, evolution, like from four star to five star, something like that. You know, all this kind of stuff. Um, all right, something. Crazy right here. Season package. What's this? Game release celebration pack. I game release celebration pack. What's this all about? You know. Uh huh. So, yeah, what it says? Single purchase available every month. So basically, what I imagine is, if you guys want to use your money and you enjoy this game pretty pretty much, right? So of course you want to contribute some of the games, but if you want to contribute a lot, and this is the thing to do, you can't purchase more than this more than once. So it's only once per month, all right? So of course you got your starter packs right here. It's pretty expensive. Start off with ten dollars right there, and then moving on to thirty, and then another one will be thirty. This whole thing, at least, I like to see as a consistent price because you can start with start a premium pack and a speed combat pack at a separate price because it's a different thing. But instead, they actually put it on the same pricing, so you have a choice whether you want to purchase this or that. And if you guys notice, right, the starter pack only can be purchased once, once, and everything can be only purchased once, right. And some of this will say, oh, purchase once every seven days, you know, every seven days, you only can buy this once. So this is, I don't, I don't know what to call this. This could very well be, you know, or honest opinion. Um, what's it called? Um, almost a pay to win game. I would say this is almost a pay to win. They make it seems it's not. Um... It's not really, but you can tell, like this stuff over here is all pay to win stuff. It's almost pay to win stuff, I guess. And the reason why I want you guys to be aware of this because I don't want you guys to play thinking that hey, you know, if I don't, you know, pay, I still can keep up with other people. Not necessarily. Still, it's just that it makes you feel that you know, like um. You know, it makes you feel good. But, of course, um, if you guys choose to pay, it's up to you. But normally, the Western audience that I have wouldn't appreciate this because they don't like it. They want to play the game, get rewards from it, from your hard work and time and effort that you spend on the game instead of rather than just money. And that's where it takes most of the fun. Whereas in most Asian countries, um, they don't mind to actually purchase and pay because apparently they're all about gaming, this crazy, crazy game, especially countries like from Thailand, China, Vietnam, um, um, even South Korea or even Japan, Singapore, there's some people that, that, that they don't mind and sadly one of them used to be me. But of course, not to the point where it costs thousands of dollars. That's just ridiculous, right? Maybe a few hundred will do, in my opinion. But of course, uh, there are some games I don't mind worth investing on, especially some games like Seven Nights, for instance, or um, other games like Hit. I wouldn't mind as much. But however, you don't really necessarily need to do all these things because you can actually get rewards from it. Netmarble, another thing good I like about Netmarble company is because when I play the game and I invest my time and effort to it, you can actually get all of this. Even for the login period, um, you can get all this stuff. So you don't have to worry about that. Alright, you're already complete this. Not too much. 
hero gallery right here. All right, let's see with the uncommon ones, right? So you guys have a, have a chance to see. I'm going to go down slowly. Okay. So if you see, there are two stars, but there are different types of two stars, like a awakening versions of it, for instance. So you guys can definitely tell. So if I become this guy, even though he's a three star, but look, he's the baddest version of the three star, you know. All the things over here, so you guys will have a look. You can even have a freaking dragon dude right here. Which doesn't make sense, but okay. You can have the devil himself. This guy looks pretty cool right here, guys. Don't tell me you don't want him as a tank. He just looks like you dare to come and fight me. Like, seriously, bruh. And then this guy's like a shaman's like, I'm going to touch you in your sleep. And this guy looks okay. Not that cool, but okay. I like some of the character concept. You know, it looks pretty damn cool. This guy looks from Assassin's Creed. He's like... I'm here to assassinate you for the creed. <laughs> and then you have these characters and all. Looks like a freaking mummy, like a stone mummy right here. This looks where it comes from, like those like hentai stuff, which is I'm not gonna bother it in. And goblin with a machine looks like Master Roshi with a freaking gun. A ball headed gladiator with dual swords right here. It looks pretty similar to Lena from Seven Nights. Uh, this girl apparently loves her music, but wrong terms of things, you know. The devil right here is another devil. Hermot the Crimson Lord. I, s I, mean, I think he's a vampire. He looks... I like how, like... Like, he has the blood thingy on his hand, but the rest of his outfit makes me feel like this guy's either emo or he's freaking gay. Moving on, that's the legendary portion. Now we hit the big boys one. You see this orc right here from like, wow or something, and then he just like, I'm gonna kill everybody. And then we have the beautiful goddess right here. Looks like a goddess. Another tank. Right, he looks pretty fancy. Anubis looks like Anubis, definitely. And then you have the devil one betwitching the ruby. I like this character look. She has the the devil trident and some of the wings right here. She looks one of those like enemies that you watch that every time the heroes try to come close, she'll just like screw them all and just like you think you can beat me, boom, smacks him around like a baseball bat. Alright, so that is it for today because I haven't unlocked most of the things right here yet as of now. Um, I will definitely get onto it and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.